morning everyone, welcome back to, what day are we of? What, I don't know what day it is, I basically missed the day and I'm very annoyed at myself. It's Monday the 6th of December, I didn't actually film anything yesterday. I filmed a little vlog on Saturday and then we basically ended up having a little party slash gathering thing at Lewis's. It ended up being a lot bigger than I thought it were going to be. We basically all sat around the table playing drinking games and then before you know it, it was like 4 o'clock in the morning and we had strobe lights and music on in the basement. So I don't really know how that happened, however I woke up Sunday and in fact I weren't even hungover yesterday. I literally woke up quite easy, I woke up around half 10, 11, but then we literally did nothing all day. And when I say we did nothing, I mean me and Lewis laid on his sofa all day long watching Harry Potter. We're on the last two Harry Potters now, so we've watched probably, I don't know what we were on last time. In one of my vlogs, I updated you and told you that we were watching Harry Potter, I told you which one we were on. I cannot remember what we were on, but we're very, very nearly finished. We're on Deathly Hallows Part, halfway through Deathly Hallows Part 1. So we're very, very close to being done. I don't know what we're gonna watch once we've finished. We probably should have done like one and evening or something so we had something to watch however that hasn't happened but good morning everyone it's very gloomy and dark today i feel like i hate winter for this exact reason it's literally what time is it 10 15 in the morning it's this gloomy and this dark i basically woke up this morning lewis went to work i've come back home tidied up my apartment i need to tidy my dressing room today is going to be a very like home vlog so i hope you enjoy like chill more just at home cozy vlogs because that's what today is going to be like i said lewis has gone to work anna and freya are actually in london hazard's in budapest i literally don't have any other friends here I'm just gonna be in my flat pretty much all day today. I need to do a food shop I hope everyone's enjoying vlogmas so far I know I've only done like three vlogs or four vlogs and then missed a day I started vlogging yesterday and then quickly realized that actually we weren't even speaking to each other Like me and Luis were literally laid on the sofa in silence just watching the film Like we were so engrossed by the film The only time we ever spoke to each other throughout yesterday was looking at each other and be like Are you hungry because I am and then we'd go to the kitchen make food come back sit in the same exact spot Watch Harry Potter and then we went to bed and here I am now Oh my god, let me show you this room. I've literally not unpacked from London. So the spare room is just a joke. Like it literally is. She's a big fat joke. Like actually look at the state of this. This is... This is all my shit everywhere. Like literally all my stuff. That's the case from Sitsi. That's the case from the Christmas party at Motel. And... Everything is just everywhere. I need to go through and like sort everything out and like put everything away So this is gonna be a task at some point today I just don't really know when be in the right frame of mind to do that. You know, this is gonna take a lot from me <laughs> I don't know why there's random shoes in here. Maybe I should put this stuff in here So at least then my kitchen looks organized. This is what I do I move my mess from one place to another and not actually like sort it out Also, I'm loving that like the flowers on there I think potentially I might have to start buying myself some flowers just to keep on there Or maybe I should get like a nice place plant on there because I did have some like pampasy grass type thing but I feel like because it's too neutral you didn't really you didn't really see it when you walked in but I keep looking at my roses and thinking oh they're cute and also yes it's fucking dark in my apartment also no one probably is wondering but if you are I'm just gonna disclaim I feel like in the past few vlogs I've sounded really nasally and normally it clears by the like as the day goes on but I have a I basically have like a condition with my nose I always have I can barely breathe out of it I feel like Tana Mojo like I can barely breathe out my fucking nose as is but then around winter time it just goes awful and I just cannot breathe so I have like a steroid spray that I'm prescribed from the doctors obviously but I've lost it I took it to it with me to London on Sitsi weekend and then from then I obviously haven't had it so I've literally been using it for probably the past six months every single day and then I lost it and now I feel like I just cannot like I feel like whenever I speak I'm like speaking very nasally and I can hear it when editing so I do apologize my voice is not normally this whiny and this gross and like full of snot I just don't have my nasal spray so my the inside of my nose and my sinuses are all really like inflamed so yeah I feel like I sound a bit like one of the sisters that smokes from Simpsons with a hello I know what I'm gonna do with my morning. It's 10 o'clock. I have a bunch of work to do today Like I ha actually do have a bunch of editing and stuff to do and I need to plan a bunch of ad work just to make my life easier But what I'm gonna do instead or at least what I'm gonna do whilst I drink my cup of tea Why is the TV not turning on is um, oh my god Look at this. I bought this TV in unit off some random dodgy website. It's the worst TV in the world Like yes, it works basically one of my friends told me that she ordered like a Hoover and a TV and stuff off Just a random website that I've never heard of it looked like it were made on Microsoft paint So I don't know why I trusted it 
but she said she ordered her TV from there, her Hoover from there, which she did, but obviously didn't tell me that everything, I don't know, I literally do not know what this company is, but the TV is programmed like it's an iPad, so like I ordered this smart TV, still for like £250, which you can get like a Samsung TV for, not that I'm some sort of brand snob when it comes to fucking TVs, they don't have a clue what any of it means. What I do know is that my TV is programmed as if it's touch screen, and it's not. <laughs> so it's a smart TV but to use Netflix you have to <laughs> it's touch screen but obviously the TV isn't touch screen you can't use the I can't even show you because I don't know how to work it and I've just plugged an Apple TV box in there and I just use the Apple TV box because otherwise like I said you cannot you cannot use the TV for what it's actually meant for. It's literally just a big iPad that doesn't actually have touchscreen functionality. So yeah. Anyway, I don't know why I just told you that. What am I even saying? I'm gonna spend the next little while just catching up on my subscription box on YouTube. I feel like I do this every so often. I barely watch YouTube anymore. And then every so often I just have like a big binge. Um, so today is gonna be, or should I say this morning, it's gonna be the little binge morning whilst I drink my cup of tea, which is in fact brewing right now. And then I'm gonna get on with working and editing and cleaning and sorting my life out basically but why not have some me time do you know what i mean why not enjoy myself while i'm drinking my kappa right no one actually wants to see me clean this room so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna close this door and the next time i'm gonna open it it's all gonna be cleaned but just please understand and appreciate the time and effort that's gone into cleaning this room Guys, I literally love this time of the day. I know my oven says it's 10 past three. It's actually 10 past two. I don't know how to change. I don't know how to change this because whenever I do it, it doesn't save. Like I can change it, but I don't know how to save it. Anyway, I love this. Oh, the light's literally just gone. I was just gonna say, I get rainbows on my wall because obviously this big cube here is all glass to so let the sun go through it. It normally creates a rainbow. Oh, you can slightly see it there. Can you see that in my camera? In real life, there's a very faint rainbow. But at some point during the day, every single day, as the sun starts to move towards the other side, look, oh, there she is, she's coming back. As the sun starts to move, basically, I get rainbows all over my apartment. The sunlight looks magical. I literally am obsessed. I literally have nothing in my cupboard. Like, what is this? I need someone to come and organize all my cupboard space because it's really not organized at all. I have a bunch of chopsticks there and some random tissues. I need to put my pasta in this jar because I have this hefty bag of pasta but it looks so much nicer in this jar so I'm gonna have pasta I've got a lovely little bolognese sauce and everyone always sits a piss because I always put tuna in my pasta but like a tuna pasta bake it makes sense and everyone's like oh my god actually whenever I make stuff like this or whenever I add tuna to anything all my friends are like that's such a Sheffield thing to do but I don't feel like adding tuna to pasta is like a thing that people do in Sheffield yeah I had it a lot growing up surely I'm not the only one maybe I am weird maybe that is weird but jagged potato and tuna nice it's not like I'm putting tuna on toast do you know what I mean I think it's quite normal to have tuna Tuna jacket potato, tuna pasta. Anyway, I'm gonna have tuna pasta. I quite frankly don't have anything else in, so I either have this or I starve. And I'm not complaining because I do in fact like it. So pasta it is. Oh my lord, guys, it is literally. What time is it? Oh my god, it is nearly seven o'clock. How the fuck has this happened? I feel like the last time I checked in with you, it was five hours ago. I have honestly just sat and edited the fattest vlog ever for my main channel. I know I'm doing vlogmas on here, but I had a bunch of stuff. I went to sit see, had a bunch of stuff. I mean, Freya and Tia went thrifting. I literally just had a bunch of content and a bunch of days of vlogs filmed that I didn't want to just throw away. Like I get to a point where I'm so all over the place with my editing, and obviously I'm doing SAFs, I'm doing my own, and then now I'm doing these vlogs. It just gets a lot and it gets very confusing what I've used and what I haven't used and I might like use a time lapse of me making breakfast one one day put it in a different day like all this stuff so I was just very confused with my content and I'm also filming on two separate cameras currently I obviously have this G7X that I film on all the time but then I have this like VHS not VHS this fucking, I forgot the name of the cameras with the flip out camcorder. Which I also film like montage shots on. So it's just a lot, but I basically just sift through my SD card. I have four and a half hours worth of footage. Four and a half hours worth of vlog footage that could have probably been like six separate vlogs, but 
it wouldn't make sense to upload six separate vlogs on my channel currently, on my vlog channel, when I've already started Vlogmas because they're old videos and everyone would have been like, when the fuck is this film? This is so confusing. So I just made a big fat main channel video. It's 19 minutes, but obviously from all that many hours, I sat and got that down to 19 minutes of like the best bits. So it's literally took me the past five hours. I've literally been sat here since I made some lunch, just editing that video and it's now seven o'clock. Right, I just took a thumbnail. It was a big fat fail. So I'm going with the original one. I've changed my jumper. Um, just to the thumbnail because it was looking very plain looking very not colorful and i want a bit of color in it so i'm literally just wearing this jumper now um it is out the wash basket so don't feel like i'm looking fancy but lewis is never gonna know that i'm gonna trick him into thinking wow i've made some sort of effort i'm saying that i literally look like this i need to desperately shave i need to shower I'm wearing smart trousers and slippers. He's gonna walk in and think I've actually lost the plot. But before he does walk in, I'm gonna actually put my washing out because this little bad boy just reminded me that I actually forgot to sit my washing out and it's been in there all day long, so it's probably gonna stink. Absolutely love my life. I do this every single time. Guys, it's happening again. It's time for Half Blood Prince. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Do you reckon the sound's coming out of it? Or is it? You're joking. Pours, pours right away. TV done that thing. Yeah, this is how good my TV is, Queens. What are you snacking on? Sir. Nothing. Sir, snack a lot. Nothing. We've just made cups of tea. Time to sit back, relax, switch off from the outside world. <laughs> and we're back in action. Hi everyone. Um, it is now the next day, as you can probably tell. I'm in desperate, like diabolical. Diabolical? That's not even the right word. I'm literally in desperate need of a haircut. Like, I really, really am. So I don't want to hear it from anyone. I know I look horrible. I know I look like an absolute gremlin. I know I just look like I'm overdue a haircut and it's really pissing me off. Probably more than it is you watching this video and thinking, Byron, just get your haircut. But I'm basically trying to grow it. I'm trying to change my hairstyle. So I'm trying to grow the sides out as much as possible. But it's just really jarring me like it really is jarring me i'm booked in on the 18th so that vlogmas day will be a monumental moment because i'm actually getting my hair cut then it won't be long enough to have the style of hair that i actually want but it'll be some sort of progress and i just can't on jesus's birthday bitch i can't be having my hair this long like for jesus's goddamn birthday christmas day there is absolutely no way i'm looking like this you know that just ruins the full day and i'm gonna see lucy's family on boxing day so that i can't oh not me exposing myself for the grab bag of Doritos. I just cannot be doing it anymore. I already am hating everything about what I look like right now, so it's just not happening. But yeah, that is the end of this vlog. I hope you did enjoy it. I literally didn't end the vlog last night because me and Lewis, quite frankly, fell asleep watching Harry Potter on the sofa. Like, we literally put Harry Potter on. Didn't even get, like, an hour in. Like, we must have got about 20 minutes in because I woke up and checked the how long it had been on for and it said 41 minutes but I'd already been asleep so I'd been asleep before that point so I have no idea at what point I fell asleep or what the hell was happening we need to re-watch the Half-Blood Prince I know I did say we were on Deathly Hallows but we're not we're still not we keep falling asleep at the same fucking movie so we'll maybe watch that tonight if Louis decides to come around again that's the situation I hope you enjoyed the vlog it was a very very lazy day um, Anna and Fryer are back in Manchester now so I think I'm gonna go over and see them at some point I just want to get out of the house. I want to do something with my day. It's gloomy and horrible, but stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. I love you a lot, and I shall see you in the morning. Bye. 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 Bye.